guys, it's Vanessa Terry here with Notary to Notary, and in this video, I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know about becoming an e-notary in your state. Now, keep in mind, every state does not commission e-notary, so you want to check with your state commissioning office before you start this process. Ready to get started? Okay guys, we're going to hop into eNotary, but first, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. So everyone always asks, what is an eNotary? And an eNotary is an electronic notary or an electronic notarization. And anyone can become an eNotary as long as your state commissions eNotaries. Um, you do have to be a traditional notary first and then apply for your eNotary commission. Some states don't have an application that you have to do. They, as soon as you become a traditional notary, you can start performing e-notarizations. But there, some states do actually have an application process. Like in Virginia, we actually have to obtain our traditional notary license first and then apply for that um, additional e-notary commission. So it's going to vary by state and you want to check with your state's commissioning office before you start on this journey. So. When you complete e-notarizations, it's simply done electronically. And there are three main types of e-notarizations that you can complete as an e-notary. And we're gonna go over all three. So the first is a RON. And that's the most popular one people always talk about. I always get questions, what is a RON? Is an e-notary different from a RON? Um, can I become a RON? All kinds of things like that. And so a RON stands for Remote Online Notarization. And that just means that the person that's signing, the person's signature that you're notarizing, that person is not physically in front of you. So whenever you notarize documents, traditionally, the person has to physically appear in front of you. You verify their identity and then you would sign. They would sign their document and you would then notarize it. However, with RONs or remote online notarizations, the person is not physically in front of you. And what would happen is you both would come on a video conferencing kind of platform. You would see them, um, they would upload their ID to the platform, we'll go over that in a second, and then they would e-sign their document and then you would e-notarize the document. So that's a RON, a remote online notarization. That's the number one th things people always ask about when it comes to e-notary. The next one is a RIN, a R-I-N, RIN, remote ink notarization. And that essentially is the same concept as far as the person not being physically in front of you. They're still in a video kind of conference, but instead of them ink um, e-signing that document, they're actually going to ink sign it, scan it, upload it, and then you would then ink sign as well and notarize it and then scan it or email it back to them. So it's remote ink notarization. So we went over RON, RIN, and then there's just a standard in-person e-notarization. And so some states have it where you can complete e-notarizations, but the person still has to physically be in front of you, like California. Um, as of last check, they're still on a, you can e-notarize, but the person has to still physically be in front of you. So the person would just come to you or you go to them and you'll have like a, a laptop or a tablet and then they would just press buttons to e-sign. You still have to check their identity, um, check their ID to verify their identity. They would just press buttons and e-sign, and then you would press buttons and e-notarize, okay? So it's still an e-notarization, but it's not remote because they're actually physically appearing before you. So those are the three types of notarizations. Once again, it's remote or RON, remote ink or RIN, and then just your standard in-person e-notarization. Now, the number one thing you want to remember when you are performing e-notarizations and what happened was when COVID hit, like I said, there were like six states that were allowing notaries to complete e-notarizations. When COVID hit and no one could leave their house and everyone was like, you know, they weren't going into work. Everyone was doing everything online, like with Zoom calls and things like that. E-notary boomed, okay? All the e-notary platforms um, were super busy. They had like um, notes on their website that would say, you know, we're super, super busy. We apologize for the delay. They just had an influx of everyone trying to get things notarized online because everything was closed. It's still like nearly impossible to get into banks now to get your notarizations. And so that being said, a lot of the states had enacted, you know, temporary authorizations for notaries to complete online notarizations to actually work as e-notaries. But 
they didn't have the the guidelines and the handbooks created and the laws and they didn't really know how to have the notaries perform remote online notarizations properly that would still be able to verify identity and make sure you know fraud wasn't being committed things like that so uh i would say maybe like two months ago more states have started to put in those um extra rules and things like that um to help um, cut down on fraud and things of that nature but prior to that a lot of notaries nationwide were performing um remote online not notarizations in a way that um didn't really in a way that was not secure for lack of a better word so it was, it was a way that was not secure um so you never want to perform e-notarizations on a like a zoom call or on facetime if you have like an apple phone you facetime or google duo google hangouts anything like that it's just a basic um video conference it's not secure you cannot verify people's identities using that and it's not um, considered a secure method for remote online notarizations okay so what you want to use are actual e-notarization platforms such as notary cam notarize safe docs doc verify there's other few a few other ones out there that you can use as well but the difference between these platforms and your typical skype or facetime is it's so much more secure in that you log in um the signer logs in they have to upload their identification document whatever it is they're going to use usually it's a driver's license and then the system generates um, identity verifying questions similar to like when you apply for a credit card and they ask you which one of these streets are you associated with or you have a mortgage payment what's the amount things like that that only you would know for the most part so the system actually gives the, the, the signers those questions and they have to get them right. I think they give them like two or three chances. So it actually verifies their identity in a more secure way. And that's why you don't want to use like a FaceTime or a Skype because you can't do that, right? So these platforms verify the signers identity and then it allows you to come into that video conference and notarize those documents, okay? And that's just to really help cut down on fraud and things like that. Also, keep in mind when you start working as an e-notary that what you're charging, it's going to vary as well. So what you charge for traditional in-person notarization is going to be different compared to what your state is going to allow you to charge for e-notarization. So be sure to check with your state. Um, they should have an updated handbook with that information. But like I said, a lot of states just um, enacted these temporary or some are permanent authorizations for notaries to become e-notaries so if you don't see it in your handbook you should just reach out to your state commissioning office and ask them you know what can i charge per notarization when i perform e-notarizations um, on my online platforms so if you're ready to get started as an e-notary make sure you visit us online at notarytonary.com and register for the e-notary training there as well so it's the same concept as the notary signing agent training in that you'll have access to the online training platform. We do give you an e-notary seal that you can use when you're notarizing your documents online. And you also have access to the live um, interactive webinars that we have every week to help you build a successful notary business. So until next time, happy signing.